We are going to the quantum moon. I have a plan. I actually suspect it won't work. Um, let's talk about it. So we did all that quantum uh, trials stuff. And uh, I think the main thing that I learned is that I can take a picture of the quantum object and that will lock the quantum object into place. So it will not move. So then, all we have to do then is find the quantum moon, which, easy peasy. I guess we'll, I didn't need to hit C, I wanted to, no, am I still locked on? No, I looked away, that's sad. Is this it? Ember twin, oh, that's so sad. Okay, there it is, right? I think that's the quantum moon. Let's see, does it have a, that's Gabbro. Uh, does it have a quantum fluctuation? I think it does, unless, yeah, there's two of them. So one of those is the one on Giant's Deep and the other is the quantum moon, I believe. Okay, so now it actually will be a little bit interesting because um, when I want launch my signal scope in here, is, why wasn't autopilot working a little better? Interesting. Oh, is it because the moon is kind of moving weirdly? I don't know. Well, when you launch the scout in, it disappears or something. I'm really not sure. Um, so how do I do this? Uh, I think what I want to do is I want to get closer. And then I want to launch it like that. And then... Oh. And then... Ooh, that's the quantum moon, right? Uh, oh, I'm crashing or something. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We made it. We made it. That was just awful. It was just awful, wasn't it? Cool, and so, oh wait. I definitely want to equip the scout launcher. Crud. Uh... Please land, please land. Oh wait, I can do that. Right. All right, there we go. Okay, and now I can uh, unbuckle, but I wanna see it. Oh, oh, but we landed on it. I can't stop observing it because we landed on it, right? Kind of like when we landed on the, um... wow, this is super exciting. The quantum moon, baby. Uh, when I landed on that, or when I stood on the quantum shard, it, um, did its thing. Okay. Quantum moon, baby. Let's go. Oh, I love that we did this. Now, was there a distress beacon or anything? Oh, interesting. We're, like, in a different, in a different thing here. All right, let's, uh, launch this thing. Ground. Oh, okay. That's not how to launch it. <laughs> Oh, and it was the North Pole. Ship hull breach detected, what happened? Uh-oh, I hope it's not coming for me next. Well, let's explore this thing, I'm so excited, I landed on it. I was honestly not expecting that to work. I was expecting something really weird to happen, like, um, not really weird, obviously something really weird's gonna happen no matter what. Ah, cool, so we can move it maybe? And this is going to, what is, I can't tell what these oh flashlight Duh. <laughs> sorry guys okay so that's the tower where we are that's something else that's I have no idea what's happening here and there's no no my writing huh I wonder if closing this helps wait oh so now we won't observe it maybe and now when we do this it'll go somewhere new okay unhelpful Maybe, oh, we can read about it. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Oh, shoot, what's the rule of quantum entanglement? Uh, that's the one. That's the one where you can, you where you, if you're standing on it and you stop observing it, you uh, go somewhere. Recall the rule of the six locations. So this is where the shrine has to be on the North Pole, I think. 
Um, call the rule. So we have to stop observing it. We have to cut the lights. Is that was that this? All right. Yeah, that was that. And then we're in total darkness. So now the thing's moving. Whoa, wait. I thought it had to be. I was expecting it to go somewhere else. Huh. What did I? Am I gonna die? No. Okay. I guess maybe this is where it needed to be. Oh. <laughs> I get, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Close the door, please. And then go somewhere else. Okay. Okay. Turn on the lights. Let's uh, try to get this to the North Pole. Maybe I should go check check my ship if I can get out. Okay, I can get out. Oh, it's oh, it's it takes on the aspect of the planet that it's around. So before it was around the uh, giant deep thing. And my ship is just totally gone, right? Oh, this is crazy. What the? <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe this is maybe we're about to win. Once I. Am I honestly gonna find the eye of the world? Oh, this is um, this is one of the know my shuttles. I didn't really mean to do that. Was that always there? I'm here after what? Oh yeah, the this is the one that was on the quantum moon. I'm here. Shuttles landed at the moon's south pole. I'll make the remainder of the journey on foot. Wait a second. Did I? I just teleported it. Uh, to the place I've already been many times. Darn it all. <laughs> and I have no, I have no ship. <laughs> Drat. Uh, and there's no way back. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, we'll get back to the quantum moon. Don't worry. Uh, should I meditate? Yeah, maybe I should meditate. Now, what does this one on the right do? I never was able to figure that out, but I think I haven't tried to do that. Oh, it opened it, maybe? Uh, oh, it, it stops it, maybe. Let's, let's take it back. And now launch it. And now, yeah, we're going pretty far. And then the one on the right will stop it. OK. Let's, uh, let's see, meditate until next loop. <laughs> and take my ship back to the quantum moon because that thing is sweet and I need to check my ship's log Pretty sure the quantum entanglement is when you're standing on the quantum object. It can take you with it Cool, so and the way to do that is you turn off all the lights. So you're not observing anything um, Yeah, I guess because if you're observing the air or the atmosphere or or if you're just I was gonna say if you're standing on it, then you're like observing it with your sense of touch, but that doesn't change when you turn the lights off. I don't know, it's a game. <laughs> I'm sure it makes sense. Um, I don't really know why you couldn't just close your eyes. Or like what happens if I meditate, not until the end of the world, but like meditate for two minutes. I don't know, whatever. All right, let's find that quantum moon again. Oh, I needed to read the ship's log too. Maybe I don't need to. We'll just explore the quantum moon first, then, then read the ship's log. <laughs> Having too much fun to read. I ain't no nerd. <laughs> All right, quantum moon, quantum moon. No, nothing. We could go to one of those places where Battle Rock, Dark. Is that it? No, those are the twins. Is that at the sixth location? Back to. Wait. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> is that the deep space satellite? What is that? Interloper? White hole station? It's red. It's a blinking red thing. What is a blinking red thing? Why can't I think of what that is? It's like an anglerfish. <laughs> Was it the stranger? I never noticed the stranger before. It's totally the stranger, isn't it? Because we're getting really close. <laughs> no, I'm not going to the stranger. 
Oh no, it is the spat it is the deep space satellite. Okay. All right. Well, now I can see the quantum moon. Surely, is that it? That's Timber Hearth. Come on, Quantum Moon, where are you? Oh, around Giant Steep again. Very good. All right. And if I just launch a scout at it, what happens? Do we catch up with a scout? No, we don't catch up with a scout. What is my scout doing? I don't know. Oh, and my autopilot is really weird, right? Huh. Oh well, it worked. All right, let's get close to here and get around the sun, I guess. All right. All right. And lock on here so we can match velocity. All right, let's figure out, uh, it's shift. Actually, I actually haven't played in a few days. All right, come on, nope, nope, nope. Is that the North Pole? I don't even know. How do we get it to move to the North Pole? I mean, it looks like the North Pole. Oh, wait, if I look away, does it move? Aha, that's how to do it, excellent. All right, and now it's not gonna move. Oh wait, I actually do wanna look at the ship's log, because I'm not 100% sure it was the North Pole, actually. It might have been the South Pole. Quantum moon! Quantum shine! Oh, there's nothing else to do on the quantum moon either. That's fun. Oh, I found a dead Nomai on a spacesuit near the South Pole. I didn't really know I did that. Okay. All right. Yes, we recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Now recall the rule of quantum entanglement and recall the rule of the sixth location. And this rule of the sixth location is the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. So then we should be able to get it to the north pole, right? Let's find the thing. All right, that's not north. Well, now it might be north. Is it on the North Pole, maybe? Oh, there's a little twister on the North Pole. Do I have to, hmm. How do I get in the twister? Um. I guess. Okay. If I do this, it won't move, right? Oh, please tell me it won't move. Good. And we're on the is this the South Pole now? How the heck did that happen? What? It I'm so confused. It moves even though my scout was on it? Huh. What happened? All right, well, let's just keep walking around and do trial by air then. Oh, that's so cool, I'm in orbit. And will I be able to make it through here? Nope. Well, shoot, how do I get in the North Pole? Oh, let's move it. Let's move it to a different planet. Maybe every planet's gonna have this thing where it can't get in, but... All right, where is this thing? Oh, also my ship, yeah. This, there's gonna be a lot of quantum uh, trial and error, not, not quantum. Oh, where is this thing? Okay. Oh, there's the shuttle. I don't want to get in that shuttle. The darn shuttle. Darn it. All right. Well, let's try this again. I guess. I don't really. Oh, there it is. All righty. And it's close to the North Pole. Will that count? <laughs> it's in the northern hemisphere. Now let's check it out at a different uh, different planet. Uh, Brittle Hollow, sure. Hopefully we won't have like, <laughs> um, 
things hitting us. Ah, oh, it's it. Yeah, so the North Pole is gonna be blocked, and maybe there are ways in. Hmm. Or maybe one of the. Shoot. Yeah, and it's gonna be cloudy up here. So no, 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 no. Oh, is that the North Pole? <laughs> it's close, right? All right, let's just see what happens when we go to a different different location. So, Riddle Hollow, Giant's Deep. Maybe Dark Bramble might be promising because, yeah, I don't know. Oh, flashlight, sorry. Uh, ooh, Dark Bramble, let's check it out. I'm a little scared. Hopefully there are no anglerfish here. Worst case is we die and who cares? I mean, maybe we are close enough to the North Pole because we can see this North Pole. Let's just, let's just go until the, yeah, just in case this is close enough to the North Pole. Let's just move around until the quantum moon is around the eye of the world. Or whatever it is. Nope, 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 yep. I suspect it will be blocked. Oh, oh, is there a hole? No hole. All right, fair enough. This is fun. <laughs> I'm so excited. Come on. Should we try Blood of Hall again? No, let's try, sure, let's try these bad boys. How do we get to the North Pole? Is that North? No. Oh! We did it! Had to be on the Ash Twin! Yeah, let's go! Oh my gosh. It's on the North Pole, baby. And now, all we have to do is... Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What if it's just pretty boring? <laughs> oh, so close. Yes! What's gonna happen? <laughs> Do I, yeah, we don't have our ship, do we? Um, do I get out of the quantum moon? Do I explore the moon when it's around the eye of the world? Oh boy. Um, interesting. Okay, that's the North Pole. Uh, I would love to find a know my thing. Um, oh wait, what happens when I launch it out of the moon? Oh, it can't leave it, interesting. And what happens if I leave the quantum moon while my scout is here? Oh, oh, there's something here. Yeah, oh wait. Emergency scout recall. Oh my gosh, that's what happened. <laughs> this is like the second or third episode and emergency scout recall activated. Ah, you guys know what I'm, oh my gosh. I've seen that before and I thought it meant that my ship was, is that a living Nomai? Solanum? Are you Solanum? Ah, uh, you don't speak my language, do you? Pick up identity stone, pick up explain stone, pick up me stone, pick up quantum moon stone. Uh, so I guess, um, I'll identify me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, here we go. Identify you. 
And is he right with it? I am Solonoma no mind. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth and we now call it home. Do you now call it home? Oh. You're... Hmm. Okay. And... Then who am I? Do you know who I am? I've never, I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. And might I say your three eyes look uh, rather lovely as well. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. I'm really proud of this... Uh, of this translator tool that Hal and I created. Okay, so let's see. Um, is this the explain? Can he explain me? <laughs> I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star sy system as my clan originally did? I hate to tell you this, but I don't think that's true. All right, well, um, what is the eye of the universe? Can you please identify it for me? Is he gonna, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm holding eye of the universe. I also need him to explain this quantum moon to me. <laughs> We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an, in an extremely distant orbit around this solar star system. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Now, please explain more. There is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. Okay. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect. As I imagine you've seen elsewhere in this star system. Kind of, I don't really understand it. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Um, have I asked him to explain himself? Like, how are you... A alive I am on my first pilgrimage to this to the quantum moon all know my and my clan make this journey when we come of age interesting even though the eye cannot be reached from here ah the quantum moon remains special to us as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know okay I didn't know that I thought we were gonna reach the eye <laughs> I've journeyed here to be close to the eye while the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Have I gone back in time? What? How are you alive? I'm asking him to explain himself, right? Yeah, I'm, I guess it's just... I don't know. And did I ask him to explain me? I forget. I should have done this in... Uh, some sort of logical order. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon surface does now while at the eye, yep. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus the eye is likely also quantum. Yeah. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. In the same way the areas surrounding 
quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually became quantum two. Yeah, this is all making a lot of sense. I'm starting to think it's not gonna help though. Uh, I think he's explained everything, right? We maybe didn't identify everything. He's like, oh, this again? You really want me to explain you to you? Yeah, we read it before. He thinks we came from another star system. That is troubling. I guess he doesn't know that he's ancient. That is the most confusing part of this. Did I miss something? Like... Uh, huh. Alright, what about identifying the quantum moon and the eye of the universe? I feel like I maybe didn't ask those. I feel pretty confident I checked everything else, though. Yeah, this is the quantum moon. I, I agree. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Okay. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now. Yeah. Well, Solanum, I have to say, I'm a little disappointed. So I'm assuming if I leave the moon, is there a way to say goodbye? I don't, don't want to just leave, it seems rude. Huh. Huh. Um, yeah, I'm assuming if I, um, if I leave the moon, then we'll just be in space. Oh, wait, Solanum is stranded. How do you, can I ask you how to leave? Like, how did you guys make the pilgrimage and then leave? Oh, you went back to the, of course. We can just go back to the um, shrine. Darn it, there's no more writing here or anything? Huh. Well, I kind of mentioned it before, but one advantage I do have over Solanum, at least I think they didn't have this ability, is I can't just die and then learn learn that way so like maybe yeah what happens when I get sucked up here I die right let's find out I guess you can always come back oh that was unexpected Pick up the explain stone. Uh. Huh. Huh. I was not expecting to be dropped on the quantum moon away from the eye of the universe. That is very unexpected to me. Well, uh. Let's see. What do I do now? Um. But I, I'm try, trying to kind of get back to the North Pole, maybe? I'm assuming this is timber. It kind of looks timber hearthish. Bumpity bumpity. Wow. Um, I also wonder if. What happens when the sun explodes if I'm on the quantum moon around the eye of the world? Can I not. Oh, I cannot. I've gone all around here. Can't get out of this place, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, okay, I guess I'll go back to the South Pole and go in the shrine thing. So, oh, that wasn't the shrine thing. Oh, he's in a different position. All right, 
Alright, I give up. Oops. <laughs> I actually could probably go somewhere. Like, how far away is the interloper? No, my fuel's almost dead. Well, this is as good a place to die as any. Um. Alright, let's read the ship's log and see if there's more to explore, I guess. Huh. Huh. I really thought that was gonna, like, do it for me. Get me into the Ash Twin Project, I guess. How on earth do we get into the Ash Twin Project? See if there says there's, says there's more to explore at the sixth location. I was so when I'm there. So it seems like maybe he's... He's dying? Like, he... Okay, it says... All of his clan makes these pilgrimages to the quantum moon when it's around the eye of the world. Everyone in his clan does. Why is he like stuck there? Oh, ship's lock. That's what I'm doing. So confusing. And that's it. And we've explored everything there is to explore there. What on earth? I met a living no mind named Solon. I'm at the South Pole. I know. It's an exclamation point. The quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. This location, the quantum moon, because it becomes a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all macroscopic quantum phenomena in the solar system. Solonum wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. Me too. Me too. All right. Well, we've done everything there is to do here, I think. There's no more to explore, at least. Huh. Well, there's more to explore at the White Hole Station. <laughs> Is that how to get to the uh, Ash Twin Project? All right, let's look at these rumors. Um, that's unhelpful. That's unhelpful. And that's unhelpful. But how do we get there? How do I not have a picture of the black hole forge? There's not even more to discover there. That's weird. Oh, the anglerfish fossil. Yeah, I, I haven't actually been to the anglerfish fossil. There's more to explore at the Sunless City. I wish I could. <laughs> there is a way to safely travel to the Sun Station from Ash Twin. How though? <laughs> it's, it's the uh, warp platform that's blocked from those spikes. <laughs> All right. White Hole Station. The Stranger could be helpful for sure. I guess White Hole Station. There's a lot to s discover on Brittle Hollow. Where's Escape Pod 3? Dark Bramble. Yeah, there's more to discover on Dark Bramble for sure. The... Oh, the Interloper. That could be interesting because... I've uh, not done much of that at all. And then... There's a shuttle on the interloper too, I think. Uh, which I can... Where was it from? Shoot. Shoot, how did I recall that? From... Where is that? Ah, I can't mark it on the HUD. Oh, I can't mark it on the HUD. I'm just curious where that is. It's on the twins, okay. Right, 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 right. Okay, well, what do you say, guys? Uh, shall we... I can't believe we're finished with a quantum moon. Um, go back to the stranger. <laughs> go to the interloper. Or Whitehole Station. I think next episode... I'll pick one. <laughs> but that's going to do it for this time. It was a short episode. We, uh... We discovered all there is to know about the quantum moon, I guess. Solanum's alive. I guess that's it. I I don't know. I guess I'll noodle it and then let you guys know if I decide I want to do more with that. <laughs> I. That's all I can say. I don't know. Anyways, until next time, y'all take care.